today i am going to talk about multi variable newton raphson's technique so here given a system of n equation n non linear equation with n variable so that can be represented as fix is equal to 0 so fix can be represented as f1 means that is equation number 1 equation number 1 f1 x and x1 x2 xn are the variable so uh, here that is n equation and n variable oh, okay so f1 x1 x2 dot dot xn is equal to 0 f2 x1 x2 dot dot xn 0 fn x1 x2 dot 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 uh, xn is equal to 0 so here n equation and n variables are there so that can be represented as like that so now we have to find out that root of the equation where if we put x1 x2 xn value so that will give the every equation will be zero so that is our target so now how do we solve that so i'll solve uh, that will solve by neutral raphson technique now first we have to uh, know what is taylor series multivariable taylor series expansion so point x1 x2 xn so k is the level that first k1 k1 k level okay so that can be written as so and a k plus one is the the updated level the new level so if i uh, x1 k plus one uh, x2 k plus one again to dot 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 x and k plus one so that we can do the taylor series expansion like that if i uh, so it is like that so if you if you know the single variable taylor series expansion if x plus h so what is that or that is if uh, x uh, x k plus 1 or fx uh, 1 okay so that will be so this is x0 plus h uh, is equal to f okay i can write correctly so here suppose single variable so f of x0 plus h means f of x1 so that we can write what so f of x0 plus h df by dx at x is equal to x0 similarly here so here this is a single single and this is multivariable so we can do like that so that fx0 okay so that is the k1 k level okay fi x1 x2 x0 means k is here if you take that k is 1 or k is 0 so that is x1 uh, 0 so 0 so this is 0 level and this is 1th level right so 1th level is equal to 0 level plus here so now here only single variable as here multivariable so that's why summation of j to 1 to n d f i d x j dot again so we have to do uh, this differentiation for every variable and then finally uh, that h so here means n variables are there so here there will be n number of n del h means n variable differentiation not differentiation difference so that is there now we can write okay now if we get the root at xn so that term will be zero right okay so that again so that i am writing here so here i is equal to 1 to 3n now if if we get that that uh, means x1 k plus 1 x2 k plus 1 if we got the root okay is the root of the equation fix so obviously this term will be zero like again so single variable okay so we know that f of x0 plus h that is fx1 is equal to f of x0 plus h df by dx now here if that is the root so that we can make as a zero so we will get that h will be what minus f of x0 by df by dx okay similar way okay so that this term will be zero now we will have this now this uh, so here so this term this f x1 k plus 1 will be 0 okay that will be 0 and this is this term will be 0 and finally we will get this both term this and this term then these two term we can write as a like we can write like h so we can write for single variable we, will, we, we got the h is equal to minus f of x0 df dx so here we will get that so this is the function value now this is minus minus fx0 similarly we'll get that f term here and then we'll get uh, if we said that df by dx term for single 
uh, variable if we take the multivariable so we will get the jacobian and this is the difference this is different means h h okay so that that this is the difference so we can write this term as a jacobian matrix and this is the delex term means every variable has some difference so that you can take as a bigger x okay so that is the difference of I mean, each level each uh, means a k, k x1 k plus 1 minus x k so there is some different so for second variable different so that is actually del x okay now here we can see so uh, this is that function at at k x k and this is jacobian matrix and this is the del x now uh, you will see that we can write as a j del x is equal to minus fx so this is actually linear equation okay that we can solve uh, if, if we solve this linear equation okay so we will get that del x and that del x means h h in the single variable so that we can update okay like we update this one k x plus 1 is equal to k x plus del x okay so we, if we solve that then we will get the del x and then we can solve like mm, that x k plus 1 will be x k plus del x so that way we can solve that now i am going to uh, tell you how to solve what will be the order the steps is so first choose an initial guess so that is x0 x1 0 x2 0 xn and then evaluate the function function value at all these you know, the variable points and then also calculate jacobian matrix this is function and this is jacobian matrix and then evaluate del x okay so del x is the uh, evaluate del x for the variable correction so that will be minus fx by j okay and del x is nothing but del x1 del x2 del xn and update the variable like xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus del x where xk plus represent the updated variable for k plus uh, 1 ith iteration now check the convergence convergence by calculating the error between the update variables and the previous iteration value if the error is below a specified tolerance level the solution has converged otherwise go back to the step 3 and repeat the process with the updated variable as new guesses I repeat step 3 to 6 until convergence is achieved so these are the steps and these are the theory i uh, theory i talk about what the what what is the theory behind multivariable neutral corruption techniques so i told you the theory now i'll give one example how this neutral corruption technique uh, will work for solving multivariable uh, multivariable uh, equation nonlinear equation and how we'll get the root of the equation now here that consider the system so here the system uh, the two nonlinear equations are there so one is f1 so this that nonlinear equation is the function of x and y so function one is x y function one x y so that is 4 minus 8 x plus 4 y minus 2 x q now and function two is again that is the dependent on x and y the function of x y so that is 1 minus 4 x plus 3 y plus y square is equal to 0 so these are the two function now for multivariable neutral absent method first we have to take the initial guess so we know that x0 x0 and y0 okay and then compute the jacobian of the matrix so that is df1 dx df1 dy sorry and the do f1 by do x do f1 by do y do f2 by do x do f2 by do y so that we have to uh, calculate uh, we have to calculate and then we have to calculate that the function value at x initial guess x0 and then solve the linear equation del x and we will get the del x and then we will update the value of k okay so now here so we have the two equation now first we have and here initial guess i am taking as a 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 this is the initial guess now compute the jacobian of the matrix so so what will be the jacobian matrix for uh, this 4 minus 8x plus 4y minus 2x cube so if we, and we are we are, we are going to um, calculate jacobian so that do f1 by do x means we are take we are doing that partial differential equation so only x is a variable other other are constant when we do the partial differentiation so for the here we will get only minus 8 and then 
plus not minus 8 and then plus sorry minus again this is minus this is 0 this is 0 so that will be 6 x square and del f 1 by del y for the first equation so if we again do that the dip, uh, uh, partial differentiation for f1 so only that 4 is will be there other than 0 because partial differential equation so uh, with respect to y we have to do the differentiation other will be as a constant and when we do the differentiation that will be 0 now for the second equation del f2 by del x so that will be only minus 4 and del f2 by del y so that will be what only 3 will be there and then 2y okay now we did that 3 plus so that will be 8 minus 6x square and 4 minus 4 and 3 plus 2y so that is the jacobian so first first after getting that equation so we have to do the jacobian okay after getting the jacobian now we have to evaluate the function and jacobian at the current guess current guess means x is equal to 0 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so x0 is 0 0.5 y0 is 0 0.5 now if i putting so f1 xy function that is function 1 4 minus 8x 4y minus 2x cube now at f1 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 second function is f of xy 1 minus 4x plus 3y plus y square so if we plug all these values so here 4 minus 8 into 0 0.5 plus 4 into 0 0.5 minus 2 into 0 0.5 cube and second equation 1 minus 4 into 0 0.5 plus 3 into 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 square and if we calculate okay by calculator or any other software or I mean any 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 way or you can do hand calculation or a calculator so ultimately f x0 okay so first function value at x0 is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so this x0 is capital x0 okay remember that we'll get that function value 1.7500 1.7500 okay so this is actually bigger so that is 1.7500 and 0 0.7500 if we plug all this value similarly for jacobian if we plug the value okay so the, again this is capital x 0 so that is the minus 954 4 so we got the jacobian is minus 8 minus 6 x square 4 minus 4 3 plus y now here we have to put x is equal to 0 0.5 and y is equal to 0 0.5 so if we plug this value so 8 minus 6 into 0 0.5 square 4 minus 4 so we'll get that and then solve the linear equation j del x minus fx so here uh, this is the j and this is del x del x means del x and del y okay so this is capital again x so that is del x and del y difference 0 that is minus 1.7500 0 0.7500 so if we do that so del x and del y we will get that okay so that will be minus this divided by this jacobian matrix so you will do that so inverse will come first so inverse of jacobian and then that is the function value so that is j and this is function okay now if after doing the calculation we do that if we do that matrix um, multiplication first we have to take that inverse and then do the matrix um, matrix multiplication so we'll get the del x is equal to 0 0.18182 and del y will be minus 0 0.05688 so solving the system we find the del x and del y at 0 so that will be again 0 0.18182 0 minus 0 0.0056818 now update the variable so uh, so one theta addition what will be the x and y value x and y value will be x0 plus del x del, x and y 0 del x del y 0 now if we do the calculation so in, this is the initial guess and this is the defense uh, del x okay so means you can remember that so that for newton epsilon method so xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus okay or you can take plus that is del x or h for single variable okay h plus h now here this is nothing but xn this is nothing so xn plus one this is xn and this is actually nothing but h so if you compare with that a single variable 
so now uh, after doing the calculation so x and y value will be okay 0 0.6818 and 0 0.4940 so this is the after iteration okay now if you do if you calculate the function value at this point what will be the function value so if you put the function value f x0 uh, sorry this will be not x0 this is at x1 okay so f1 0 0.6818 so if we plug this value so ultimately we will get for function value at this point x and y point so function value will be first function will be minus 1 into 10 to the power minus 1 so e means here 10 to the power e means e means 10 okay so e to the power main uh, minus 1 means 10 to the power minus 1 and second function will be 3.2283 e to the power minus 5 means 10 to the power minus 5 now so after so initial guess initial guess we took initial guess so that is x0 x0 and y0 so that is 0 0.5 and that is 0 0.5 so after one iteration so x is uh, 0 0.6818 order one iteration y1 is 0 0.4943 now we are going for second iteration we are taking this value and we will do same thing so now again we have to find now this is the initial guess we have to calculate jacobian then first we have to calculate function value at f x1 so that we already calculated okay so here so we'll got that minus 1 into 10 to the power minus 1 and 3.228 into 10 to the power minus 5 that we got now we have to calculate jacobian so we have to plug all this value so 6.0818 and 0 0.4943 so we'll get the jacobian now we have to plug all this value to j del x del y uh, minus fx so if i do that okay so this is similar this is the jacobian this is the function now this will be this will be what f by j and then inverse i n v inverse of j into f so if we do the matrix first take the inverse of j and then take do the multiplication we will get that del x del y is equal to minus of this minus of 0 0.016410 0 0.016465 so we will get uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get the del x again so if you compare with single variable single variable so we got that h h is nothing but this now single variable we know that xn plus 1 is equal to xn plus h so h now we have to calculate the xn so xn we got okay so this is actually this is multivariate this is single variable if we compare this so this is like that and this is this is x and y and that will be updated value 2 iteration and then x and y uh, that we know that is the what we got in the iteration number 1 16818 and 0 0.4943 and del x that is minus of 0 0.016410 and 0 0.416465 uh, after that we will get that x and y value that is updated value 0 0.6654 and 0 0.4779 so we will get uh, after second iteration now we have to calculate what will be the function value whether we will get that function value at these two point is close to zero or not okay if it is very close to zero then we can stop the iteration otherwise we can go ahead now here f of this is not x0 this is x2 at x2 okay so that will be 0 0.6654 and 0 0.4779 okay so in that point we are going to calculate f1 and f2 value so we plug all this variable value and then if we calculate the function value so that is minus 1.0928 e to the power minus 3 and function 2 is 2.7110 e to the power minus 4 and it is uh, very close to 0 okay though it is not close to 0 so we can go another iteration now here i am putting a tabulated value 
okay so first iteration number one we took that 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 so we got the function values 1.7500 and up to this now second iteration we got that x 0.6818 and 0.4943 we get this value and this value and uh, if uh, if again after second iteration we will get that x3 value that x3 and y3 value so that is 0 0.6 uh 0.479 so we'll get that minus 1.0928 to the power minus 3 uh it the power means 10 to the power minus 3 and 2.7 10 to the power minus 4 now it after iteration 3 we'll get that x4 and x y4 value that is 0 0.665 to 0 0.4776 so we'll get this value and this value now here again if we do the calculation so there will be obviously there will be some value some digit so that will modify it with 6.6652 and 0 0.476 and the, uh, we will get the function value is minus 5 into 0 0.1 into 10 to the power uh, minus 15 and it is very close to 0 close to 0 so after 4 iteration so this is not 4 this is 5 after 5 iteration uh, we will get that function value f1 and f2 is nil equal to 0 so a root of the equation the root of the equation will be equation will be x is equal to 0 0.6652 and y will be 0 0.4776 so that is the root now we know how to solve multivariable neutron diffusion technique okay so you can take any or you can do um, you can take a multivariable multiple uh, function and using same Newton Raphson technique uh, you can get the root of the root of the two nonlinear equation or not two more than two uh, nonlinear equation so you have to do that and you will get that uh, that's it oh, and if you have any question anything okay so you can contact me or you can give some comment thank you we can see you some other video. Thank you.